So it's a beautiful day in downtown Toronto. We're in Kensington Market, just outside my restaurant, Pow Wow Cafe. We're gonna be foraging this morning for uh, lamb's quarters. It's uh, a great summertime green that's basically considered a weed, but it's delicious. It's almost like wild spinach. And uh, we're gonna go out and see what we can find just uh, in the neighborhood, and hopefully we're successful today. My name's Sean Adler. I'm the chef and owner of Pow Wow Cafe in Kensington Market, as well as the chef and owner of the Flying Chestnut Kitchen in Eugenia. Some tips for uh, urban foraging. So ensure that you have permission from the landowner that you're harvesting from. When you're in downtown area like this, uh, you certainly don't want to be going into people's yards, things like that. Be considerate of where you're harvesting. So when urban foraging, especially in areas of downtown Toronto, you want to, you know, you want to choose nice, clean alleyways without too much urine from either animals or humans. Certainly, we're going to wash our greens really well, but uh, that's one concern. The other one is uh, be careful of picking. Uh, sort of in like contaminated sites of like old gas stations or anything of that nature. That's the trick of urban foraging. Find nice clean greens that are uh, away from too much traffic. Lamb's Quarters is a small shrub. It grows about a meter and a half high. It has interesting spade shaped leaves with scallops and it has many stalks from the same little point in the ground. Uh, they drop tons of seeds. So this is great. We're just on the edge of a community park and you can see it's just kind of a disturbed soil but it's uh, clean, it's not high traffic area. Obviously last year, there was probably a huge bunch of lamb's quarters here and they dropped their seeds because they're just growing everywhere. One thing when you're foraging for lamb's quarters, there's no worry about any limit of how much you can pick. It's very common and there's no threat of uh, over harvesting. At this point, they're a really nice green to steam or to put in a smoothie. You can uh, chop it up really fine and uh, basically use it anywhere that you might use spinach. Just gonna lay down some tobacco as an offering uh, to the creator. That's what Anishinaabe do. It's a thank you. Mother Earth is here to provide for us and uh, everything that we need is here. You know, these are organic. There's no pesticides here. There's no, there's no insecticides. It's like free organic food that uh, you can really take pride in, you know, going out. It's nice early morning, the dew is still on these, um, so the leaves are nice and crisp. It's basically just knowledge, that's all you need. We're uh, gonna make a lamb's quarters frittata. We just foraged this this morning, it's beautiful, fresh, really crispy and green. We just got a big bowl of ice cold water. We're just gonna wash it up, we're gonna Dry them nicely on a towel. So we've got our fresh lamb's cores. We've just washed in nice water, cold water. Uh, I'm gonna just pick the leaves off, leaving the woody stem. Really want the lamb's cores to shine. So I've chosen a, a neutral base, which is uh, duck eggs. They make a great frittata. They, have a, they rise a lot when you put them in the oven. Nice pinch of kosher salt, pinch of fresh ground pepper. We're gonna heat up our frying pan, add a little bit of olive oil. So we're looking for about a medium heat and we're gonna add our lamb's quarters for about 30 seconds. Pinch of salt and pepper. So that's great. That's about 30 seconds of wilting. Another frying pan, about a tablespoon of canola oil. We're gonna add our eggs. So we give the eggs a gentle stir. I like to not actually make contact with the pan. I like the oil to be a barrier of non-stick. Once all the eggs have come together, I like to give it a flip. Turn off the heat. Now we're gonna begin topping the frittata. We're gonna put the lamb's quarters on first, then the Parmesan cheese. And lastly, we're gonna to top it with red peppers. So we're gonna put this in the oven for about four minutes at 500 degrees. Watch out for the dogs, they pee everywhere. That's it. <laughs>